That's 2 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to start there in verse 3. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. The title of my sermon tonight is Chosen to be a Soldier. Amen. Chosen to be a Soldier. And as a good soldier of Jesus Christ, we shouldn't entangle ourselves in the affairs of this life. So what it says in verse 4. No man that warreth, that's a spiritual war, entangle himself with the affairs of this life. Turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 10. The Bible says in 1 John 2.16, it says, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. So these things, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, these things can hinder you from being a good soldier for Christ. If you entangle yourself in these things of the world, you can become unprofitable or unfruitful as a soldier. You know, it calls you to fall out of the fight. In Matthew 13, 22, it says, He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word. So this man hears the word, he received it, he's saved. He's chosen to be a soldier. You know, if you put all your faith in Jesus Christ on the death, burial, and resurrection, and you get saved, you're chosen to be a soldier. This, this is what that man did. And it said, In the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. So he was an unfruitful so soldier. He entangled himself with the things of this world. And it says in Ephesians 6.12, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. They're soldiers of Christ, but there's also soldiers of the devil, right? And it's sad to say today, but the soldiers of the devil are winning, right? The soldiers of Christ are falling out. They're entangling themselves with the things of this world, you know? And not only is there a spiritual battle for the souls, but there's also a spiritual battle within ourselves, right? <coughs> When you're a soldier for Christ, the devil's going to try to attack you. He's going to try to get you to fall out of the fight. So what I want to do is look at a couple things that we can do to maintain a good soldier, to be disciplined, to not fall out of the fight. You're there in 2 Corinthians chapter 10. It says in verse 3, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So, to be a good soldier, we've got to stay disciplined. And these things, casting down imaginations, things that exalt itself against God, you know, every thought to the obedience of Christ, these have to do with your mind. So point one, to be a good soldier, to stay disciplined, keep your mind in the subjection. Keep your mind in the subjection. And how we can do this is we have to control what goes in our ears, what goes in our mind, right? Stay off the wicked TV. The devil's there. Stay off the music. The devil's there, right? Surround yourself, yourself with godly things. You know, the best way to do it is through the Word of God. The Bible says in Hebrews 4.12, you turn to Psalm chapter 1. Psalm chapter 1. <clears throat> in Hebrews 4.12 it says, For the Word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of sunder and soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. That's your mind in subjection. The Word of God will keep your mind in the subjection, right? In Psalm 1, where you're at, verse 1, it says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord, that's the Bible. That's the Word of God. We need to delight ourselves in the Word of God. And it says, And in his law doth he meditate day and night. To keep your mind in subjection, you need to meditate on God's Word day and night. And it says in Psalm 1, verse 3, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So my first point, keep your mind in subjection with the Word of God. Second point is be a soul winner, right? We need to strive to be an everyday soul winner. Go out with love and comp compassion. As a good soldier of Christ, that's our commandment. That's our duty as a soldier is to go out into the world and preach the gospel. Yeah. In Mark 16, 15, it says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. 
And in 1 Corinthians 3, verse 8, it says, Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God, ye are God's husbandry, and ye are God's building. To, stay, to be a good soldier, to stay in the fight, we need to stay laboring together with God, right? To bring forth fruit, to go out and save the lost. And in Psalm 126, it says, He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seeds, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So when we go out as a good soldier to preach the gospel, we need to keep love and compassion in our heart to persuade men to come to the knowledge of Christ. That brings me to my third point. Go to a good church. To be a good soldier, you've got to have a good home base, right? You've got to have a good training facility, right? You need to have a good church. You turn to Romans chapter 10. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24, And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. So we need to surround ourselves with the brethren to be exhorted, to get trained, to go out and preach the gospel. <laughs> so, and when we're looking for a good church, a good base, we need to find one that's going to preach the word of God boldly, right? In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, it says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. We have that here at Steadfast Jacksonville, yeah. right? We need to find a church that's going to train you, get your mind in subjection, right, and send you out into the field, send you out into the battle. It's, you're there in Romans chapter 10, look at verse 14, and it says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? How shall they hear without a soldier? Right? Yeah. It says in verse 15, And how shall they preach except they be sent? That's where your base is. That's where your church is. To be trained and sent out from your church. You need to be in a good church to be a good soldier of Christ. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Jump down to verse 18. It says in verse 18, But I say, have they not all heard? Yes, verily, their sound went to all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. So chosen to be a soldier of Christ, to be a good soldier and stay in the fight, the three points to keep your mind in subjection with the word of God. Everyday soul, soul winner, laboring with God, persuading men, and finding a good church. Right? Look back up there, verse 18. But I say, have they not all heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. In the disciples' time, it was said of them that their words went into the ends of the world, right? Yeah. Let it be said of steadfast jets. They had good soldiers. Yeah. They had a good church. Yeah. They were sent out, and their words went unto the end of the world. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, we just thank you for this church. We just ask that you help us maintain a good soldier, keep our mind in subjection with your word. And I just ask that you bless the next preacher. In Jesus' name, amen.